Anatomy can be your strongest weapon or your biggest nightmare in INICET. The difference, strategy. Most students waste time memorizing every nerve and muscle. But toppers know exactly what to revise, how to link subjects and what to leave out. Hi, I'm Dr. Sahil Ingra from Team Meritors. I was All India Rank 1 in INICET 2021. In the next few minutes, I will break down a high yield smart revision strategy plan for your anatomy subject for your INICET examination so that when you see an anatomy question, you don't panic, you smile. Let's start. So step one is you have to identify the high yield topics. What is the weightage of each chapter? So if you see in your anatomy subject, it is divided broadly into three categories, your osteology, Gross anatomy and your embryology. So these are your three aspects in your general anatomy syllabus. Now overall the weightage for the anatomy in your INICET is usually around 10 to 12 questions. So around 10 to 12 questions out of your 200 are asked from your general anatomy. Now in this around Three to four questions will definitely be from your osteology, that is your bones and all. Then from your embryology again, they will ask two to three questions. Most important topics in embryology are your pharyngeal arches. They will ask you the derivatives of the each arch. From this, they will definitely ask you one question. From the basic embryology and development, you can expect two to three questions in your INICET and from the first chapter that is osteology around three to four questions will be asked. So if you do only these two chapters, you will cover almost 50% of the anatomy questions in your INICET. Rest is your gross anatomy. Now gross anatomy is a broad topic. So this includes your all the other chapters starting from your salivary gland and thyroid gland, mouth, pharynx, larynx. So basically from your Chapter number 2 to 5 and your chapter number 6, 7. All these are your part of gross anatomy. Now, the thing is when you read these chapters, the remaining chapters of your gross anatomy. So you have to club the chapters such that you have to read chapter 5, 6 and 7. These you have to club. Your vascular supply nerve supply and the muscles of head and neck because these are very generic chapters. So they, here they will ask you the entire vascular supply or the nerve supply or the muscles of your head and neck. They will not segregate which are the muscles of tongue or pharynx etc. So they will ask you a generalized thing. That is why these are the most important after your osteology and embryology and at last the other three chapters. Again chapter 2, 3 and 4 you have to club these three together. So read these three together. Read 5, 6, 7 together and then when you are reading 2, 3 and 4, read them together. Because there are similar topics which you can link in your salivary gland, mouth, pharynx, larynx and tongue. And these are very small chapters, so chapter 2, 3 and 4 compared to your chapter 5, 6, 7 or your osteology, embryology. Then the extra cover will include your past repeats and the miscellaneous. Past repeats and miscellaneous will come under this. So again, this becomes important because you will have the past INICET as well as your need questions in this. So when you are doing an act, the goal is you first do, first you do osteology and embryology. So once you do osteo and embryo, you have covered 50% of your syllabus with these two itself. Then last you focus on your gross and in gross you have to do chapter 5, 6, 7 together at one stretch and 2, 3, 4 at one stretch. The most roughly you should spend around 4 days, 4 to 5 days max for your anatomy, not more than this. In the medical subjects, most important are your anat and pharmac in your INICET. So, you have to give around 4 days, 5 days, not more than that. In the 4 days, you can give 
one day to osteology and embryology and two days to gross then next step is your past year papers so one day again you have to devote to the last five year papers that is your last 10 papers of your INICET for the anatomy subject only then the special questions so when you go to the task in the INICET power pack you will there see special question set and the previous year recalls in those tasks last is the practice and revision now anat is a memory based subject which means you need minimum three to four revisions sometimes even more because in anat a lot of memorization is there there is not much understanding you basically have to memorize the facts the names of the muscles or the nerves or which is supplying what structure so the best idea is best thing is you have to use certain mnemonics to remember all these things and one tip is that you can club a few topics with your oral surgery the generic topics where you are reading about the muscles or the nerve supply of the head and neck those you can slightly club with the oral surgery aspect also so with this i have told you how to cover your general anatomy subject for your INICET around 10 to 11 questions would be asked from this subject so it is a very important subject because among the medical subjects not many subjects will give you 10 questions in INICET but ANAT is one of those subjects which is very important for your INICET MDS examination and you have to just follow the order which I have told you first cover osteology and embryology because you will be covering hardly two chapters but it will cover almost 50 percent of your number of questions which will be asked then you go to the vascular supply nerve supply and the muscles of head and neck and read them together so almost 80 90 percent syllabus will be covered and the last three chapters the small ones you do it together so anatomy anatomy will be covered in your around four to five days hope you found this video useful and if you like the content do follow us on instagram and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have not yet downloaded the meritus app you can download it from the play store or the app store Thank you and all the best for your exams.